Ladies and gentlemen, Good evening, I'm Joe MGM Tessitore Grand alongside Grand Teddy Atlas Vegas. and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday, now it gets to explode here in the ring. He's assured that tonight is his night. That is as confident of a ring walk as you will ever see. His poise is one of those things that cannot be denied. This is a very confident fighter. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Opening round scheduled for 10. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Keep moving. Good fundamental work landing the one two there. Right to the head with that right. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. <laughs> nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. Well placed, straight right hand. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Teddy. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Keep it going. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Just like that, just like that. Good return fire that time. the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. So they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Ten seconds to go in this round. Well placed, well timed combo up top. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hard for me. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. But well, this is a sport of profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion. We hope. But it's attached to his jab. It's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab. He has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay the next round. Well, he's got the attitude. Something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. with the hook. Let's see some more head movement. Good.
Good, strong combo. Was just off the mark. Scores big with the hook to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Now he's getting into a groove. You can tell he just landed a... He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And bang, and away he goes. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Fires right back at him. He just missed that shot up top. Good right hand. Protecting his head well with his guard. Throw punch. Okay. Don't walk into him. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout. Keep your hands up! Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Nice work. Great technique. The combo lands. Goes up top with a right hand. Lands flush with the oh, so What a big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. A knockout, unable to beat the count of 10. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockout, you're in the